Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today's video is super exciting because not only is it a Sunday vlog, but today's video is gonna be completely focused around how I prepare for a new semester in college. I was gonna make like a sit down video and kind of go through everything, but I feel like you guys enjoy my vlogs so much more than sit down videos. So I figured I would just incorporate that into today's vlog and vlog for you guys. Chad and I are about to go do some grocery shopping and we're running to Walmart because I need to get a few things for the semester. And my spring semester actually starts tomorrow morning at 8 30 a.m. I have chemistry so I'm like super nervous for it because it's been a really long time since I've done any chemistry. I have not done chemistry since high school. I already printed my syllabus for chemistry and the lab. It's a hefty syllabus. I think this thing was like 13 pages long. I have to read through this whole thing and I'll kind of show you guys how I go through that, plan out the dates and everything. I'm gonna do all that when I get home but like I said Chad and I are going grocery shopping. I want to show you guys my outfit today because it's actually cold out in Florida so I took advantage of it and I'm wearing this beanie and kind of a little bit of a different outfit than I normally wear. Let me show you. I just curled my hair with my T3, which by the way, it's amazing. Worth every penny. It's definitely the best curling iron that I've ever used. And this is the one fourth barrel. Then I'm just wearing this white tee and I knotted it right here. It's from Abercrombie, I think. These are the mom jeans that I got from Hollister. I love them so much. They are so cute. Definitely taking me a little bit of getting used to wearing jeans that aren't like super tight, but I love the look. And then I just have on my white Vans. And we're going to Walmart and Whole Foods. First stop. Starbucks. So we're searching for safety goggles because I need safety goggles for my chemistry lab. And we don't even know where to even search for something like this. I don't even know if they're gonna have them, but when I looked online, it said they had them. That might have been online only. So we found these ones and my syllabus specifically said it had to have side protection. So these are kind of goofy looking, but hopefully everybody else has the same ones and I don't look like a creep with these on. My calculator. Oh, this one. $116? No thank you. So this was in the wrong spot. We found out it's only $13, so this is the one I need for chemistry. So I just grabbed a five-star folder because I like to grab one of these every semester just to put my syllabus in. And now I'm looking for my favorite pens. I always talk about them. Papermate Enjoy gel pens. They're actually cheaper here than they are at Target. We're gonna get lunch at Whole Foods, which we haven't done in a while. I'm really looking forward to it. It's expensive, but it's always so good. Still do need to get a lab workbook um, and it, they said that it can't be spiral bound it has to be like pages that do not come out of the notebook and he said that we'll be drawing like graphs and tables and stuff so um, it would be preferred that we got quad ruled and Walmart did not have any quad ruled composition books so I'm gonna have to take a trip to Target which is probably no shocker but I'm not doing that today because I don't have lab until Wednesday I believe we're at Whole Foods and we just got some lunch. I got some macaroni salad and a bunch of veggies, broccoli, glazed carrots, and spicy Asian veggies, I think this was called over here. I'll do a little Whole Foods haul and just show you guys what I got and kind of like the meals that we're planning this week. For produce, we got a Swiss chard because I'm making like this chickpea bowl later this week and it called for Swiss chard. And this is like a really healthy green. I got some red grapes. Two avocados, one is for avocado toast and the other is to go on top of that chickpea bowl. I got three peppers because I need these for that bowl and then for something else we're making this week that I can't think of right now. Brussels sprouts and these are actually for dinner tonight. We're doing like Asian style Brussels sprouts with like sweet chili sauce over cauliflower rice. Some blackberries because these were on sale and I only ever buy blackberries when they're on sale because they're so expensive. Baby carrots, mushrooms to go in my sauce tomorrow night. I'm making my own zucchini noodle bowl tomorrow night. Broccoli an onion, and then these are the zoodles. They're just organic zucchini noodles. So I'm basically doing like spaghetti, but with zucchini noodles. And I'm gonna use this organic tomato basil sauce as like a base. And I'm gonna saute onions, mushrooms, and pepper to go with it. I think it's gonna be really good. And that's actually just my meal tomorrow because Chad's gonna be on shift. So doing that for myself, so this is like the perfect amount for one person. I should have some leftovers too. I got some Ezekiel muffins because I used to eat these a really long time ago and they're actually so healthy for you. And and I got the cinnamon raisin ones. Two of these organic garbanzo beans. These are just chickpeas and that's for that bowl that I'm making. And if I'm vlogging that day, I think we're making that Tuesday. I'll show you guys how to make it because I think it's gonna be really good, but it's my first time making it. Avocado oil. And now on to some of the snacks. So I got these organic chickpea puffs in nacho vibes. I've never actually tried these, but I've wanted to for so long. So finally decided to get them because I'm like a huge snacker. So I always need snacks. 
I got the Siete lime tortilla chips because I've heard amazing things about these. So I got these along with some thick and chunky hot salsa because I'm a huge chips and salsa girl. So I think that will be a really good snack. And then when I saw these, I was like, I have to get these because they only have three grams of sugar peach rings and gummy bears and then chad decided to get these dark chocolate peanut butter cups i don't know we just like need our sweets um so these are for him not for me for my sweet i got dark chocolate chunks and these are like more so for baking but they didn't have like the chocolate chips and i don't really care anyway this is definitely like a better healthy snack than eating like a candy bar when you're craving chocolate. And then I got two yogurts. These are both the coconut milk yogurts by So Delicious. I used to eat these all the time over the summertime with some granola on top and they're so good. I love the coconut milk. It just gives it a coconut flavor, so it's really good. Got a blueberry one and this is strawberry banana. And then the more expensive things. This was $6, but it's a Blueprint Organic Juice and this one's Beet Blast. I have an obsession with like beets in my juices. I don't know, I love the flavor of it. It's very earthy. So this one has apple, carrot, beet, lemon, and ginger. So I'm excited to try this, but it was really expensive. And then I also got a kombucha. This is the Health Aid in Maca Berry. So I'll let you guys know how this is because I don't really know what to expect. I've not tried the Health Aid kombucha. And the last thing I got is just some more mango chunks for my smoothies because I've been drinking a lot of smoothies lately and I just ran out of mango chunks. So that's everything. I need to put all this away now. Okay, so I got my chai latte and I have Google Calendar pulled up as well as Canvas, which is a program my college uses for your classes. I printed the syllabus for each class earlier today, so I have that and I've already briefly gone through it just to find out what I need for this semester. And I also already went to the bookstore and purchased the digital copy of my books as well as the access code for chemistry. I also have my planner right here. And so the first thing I'm gonna do is just go through my syllabus and pretty much read everything with a highlighter to highlight anything important. And then after that, I'm going to go through and put all of the important dates into my planner. <laughs> So I went through the whole syllabus for chem and chem lab and now I'm going to go through and put the dates just in the month of January in my planner because I don't want to go too far ahead in case they change any dates so I'm just going to take it a month at a time and I always assign a color for the class that I'm in. So chemistry and chem lab is going to be green and genetics will be pink for the semester. I have my outlines here and I have my genetic syllabus on my computer screen so I'm just going to add all the dates now. January. Now I'm going to go through and just plan out my week this week specifically with any assignments on the to-do side. And I'm going to put my classes and times over here because obviously I'm getting used to this new schedule for the semester. And also I always get questions on which planner I use and I just use the day designer planner. I will leave a link for it in the description. I'll also link the writing utensils and stuff I'm using as well as this pencil bag because this is another thing I always get asked about and it's from Amazon. So the link will be in the description. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pull up both of the digital books on my iPad and just make sure that they're accessible and everything is good in that department because I have to like claim the access code in here. I actually need something to scratch that off. Okay. 
Okay, so I've got access to my genetics book, but I can't get access to my chemistry book because I guess the class doesn't open technically until 11.59 tonight, which I would have thought that I would still be able to access the book, but he has to give us the course ID in order to get into Pearson's like program or whatever. So I don't have access to that yet, so I can't open up that book yet, but I do have access to this one. So I'm not a huge fan of this e-reader because it's within the browser, and so it's really not the greatest. Um, I'm wondering if they have an application, like the program for this, so that I can just pull it up on an app because this is like not ideal at all. And I also wanna be able to use the Apple Pencil to like highlight and annotate and stuff. It's kind of the whole point of going digital. So more to come on that, we will see what happens. So here is my backpack for this semester. It's the same one that I used last semester. I love this backpack. I'll link it for you guys. It's the North Face Borealis with like the mint color accents and it's a really great backpack. I'm not going to do a whole what's in my backpack video because I actually did one of those last semester and this semester is not really that interesting for me in terms of what's in my backpack. I have a notebook in here just in case I need to write down anything physically but for the most part I'm doing everything on my iPad this semester so I'll just have my iPad and then I've got my planner here and the stuff that I needed for chemistry. So that's pretty much everything I do to get ready for a new semester. Typically I would go through my planner for chemistry and get like really detailed with the assignments but I'm a little confused to be honest with you because there's assignments on our canvas platform and the mastering chemistry and it looks like we're gonna have assignments due Monday Wednesdays and Fridays so every day that we have class we have some kind of assignment to submit and I'm not really sure what the whole deal is gonna be with my lab workbook but it looks like we have like lab reports that we have to do every week too this class is going to be a lot I'm actually pretty nervous for it but I'm hoping that I'll get a better understanding of everything in class tomorrow right now I feel like I have no idea what's going on just reading through the syllabus myself so we will see about that but I'm not going to overwhelm myself anymore tonight I'm pretty much done looking at school stuff I'm actually about to go out there and start making dinner. Maybe Chad and I will watch another episode of You tonight because I'm so addicted to that show. So I thought I was coming out here to make dinner and then I realized Chad already did it while I was working on my school stuff. So we have rice going in the rice cooker and then in the oven, Brussels sprouts baking. I just sat down at my desk and I'm about to start editing everything from this very vlog so that I can get it up for you guys tonight. So it's officially up before the first day of the semester, at least for me anyway. I don't know when you guys go back, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope that you found it helpful. I do plan on vlogging my first day of spring semester tomorrow. So anyways, if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.